Hey guys, this is a redo of the original version on my rabbit hutch, the Hobbit house for the rabbits. And I've made many changes to it and edited it very heavily. And I hope you enjoy it in 4K. I just got done shooting my chicken coop tour. I kind of wanted to show you all my rabbit hutch. It's kind of a curious structure in the middle of my yard. It's kind of interesting. There it is. It looks, I was kind of inspired by like Mongolian tents and maybe some Celtic slash barbarian structures. I don't know, something you'd see on the Conan the Barbarian movie. It has five sides to the roof. This is the second build I've done on this, which is pretty much a theme. I always sketch something out with like re-salvaged wood, and then eventually I go out and I buy wood and I make it better. This is my ode to the Hobbit. <laughs> it's kind of like a little Hobbit house, but that's part of the rabbit structure also. I'll just give, give you a little glimpse of what's going on. That's the door. And there is two little bunnies peeking out. So there's another window right there. They just sunbathe. That's about a three foot by three foot space under this mound of dirt and wood chips. So let's get to the gist of it, how I built this thing. So this big pond here had lots and lots of dirt to take out. And so well, most of that dirt went this pile here. All that dirt went on top of a wooden structure that I built with rabbit fencing over it to keep them from escaping. You know they escaped a few times is mostly when I excavated to plant a tree or a bush on the mound. They dug up from there and made their way out. Colorado's got a lot of clay soil. Took that clay, added water and straw and put it on top of all that and set it on fire. I will do a little tour, so here we go. This is the side. They're probably not in there right now, but they managed to dig a hole inside there and they've got about probably a reasonable infrastructure going on underneath this whole thing that they made themselves, but they haven't escaped so they're completely content with their rabbit hole underneath. You wonder why I built it on the ground and not off the ground like most rabbit hutches. The rabbits building three foot off the ground structures and laying on chicken wire with a nice breeze coming up from underneath so I wanted to imitate a rabbit hole slash structure so they're on the ground and there's I put hay in there and the hay keeps them warm up here is a roof and it's all insulated for the most part it has waterproofing in it so it's dry in here in here. That's the only reason I keep these rabbits, is for the fertilizer. I don't eat them, pick them up rarely. They're really low maintenance. You give them food, you give them water. Um, I have a little food box right there that lifts, lifts up. This pops open. And the little bunnies right there. They're kind of soulful. I don't know if you can see in there. A pretty cool little house going on in there. That hole right there goes into um, the Hobbit house. So that comes in, goes around, and comes out right there or somewhere. It's hard to see. But then, I don't know if we can take a look at what's going on in there. But that's definitely like rabbit house right there. So once in a while I have to 
get in there with a rake and I pull out buckets of rabbit poop. Here's another hole that I put in. Let's see inside. Pretty interesting. Got a little rabbit hair right there. This is what I call the gate of Mordor over here. This is one of their escape routes that they managed to get out of. So I blocked it off like this. So you can see that's their hole. The grass, they eat anything in the yard, they'll girdle these trees if I don't protect them with wire or fast. Not as fast as the dog though. <laughs> It's a little gray one. I don't even remember what their names are. They're named after trees, I think. But that one's fat. It was three of them. I don't know what happened to the black one though. These aren't cheap rabbits. We paid anywhere from 80 to $120 a piece because they're um, purebreds. But if these rabbits pass away, I'm thinking about making this a quail cage, raising quails. But, not sure about that idea. Maybe I'll just get some cheap rabbits and throw them in there. But yeah, they like to come out. They don't have any problem living in this structure. I've never seen them get disease or anything. And they look really healthy. But they're going to come out and enjoy the sun. So am I. One thing I forgot to mention is their manure, rabbit manure is equivalent to worm castings and it's a cold fertilizer and that means you can directly put this, the rabbit feces upon your plants and it will not burn the roots and that's a good thing. Unlike chicken compost where you need to let it age to cool off, that's a hot compost. But rabbits are good, get them. So that's the end of my rabbit hutch Mongolian tent. It's been about two or three years since the rabbit house has been vacant and we've since then dismantled the rabbit hutch and we are restoring it back to planting a tree there where the rabbits once were. In the future I might get more rabbits eventually but we will be down in Arizona most likely. Like I said, thanks for watching this video.